See y'all back, my ear, nose, and throat. Doctor. Oh. told me there was nothing wrong the first time I came. But to come back just for a checkup. Y'all sitting here waiting. They're like, oh, that looks good on you. Is that your hair? Every time I wait, I get asked if it's my hair. Probably. She's your friend. <laughs> she just told me that she has a friend. Um, she thinks the hair is the same length as mine. She wanted to come out and see my fro. She's like, she wanted to wear her fro. It's feeling dry though. I got a, I don't know. I just think it's so, it's so much fun seeing people's reaction. the 70s and 60s look <laughs> my mom and dad used to rock this y'all all of our parents used to rock this yeah baby so I'm here because I don't know if y'all know underneath my neck but he said that if it's because I lost weight and this area tends to drop the older you get so I don't know we'll see my well, believe only was nothing wrong with it, nothing hard, no, uh, what do you call it, stones? There are no stones or anything in there. So I'm just back for a follow-up, so I expect to hear the same thing and just be about my merry little way. So that was a successful, y'all. So, no worries there. Um, just... And I'm only four pounds less than what I was. I've gained a lot of my weight back, actually. And uh, I'm 131. I used to be 135. So I have gained a lot of my weight back. Thank God, y'all. I'm up from 118. <laughs> so um, hopefully to gain more as I do weight training. So, okay. So what he told me was your submandibular glands, which is what I have that was swollen, I noticed in one of my YouTube videos. So I'm like, what is that? I was like, what is that? You know, it looks like it's swollen under my neck. So then I had pain in my ear to the point where it sent me to an emergency. Well, TMJ is what was causing the pain in my ear um, from these braces shifting my teeth all around and before that I didn't have I mean at that time I didn't have the rubber bands yet so since I've gotten the rubber bands on my braces I haven't had any pain in my ear so the TMJ was causing it was like dep depressing the nerves in my ear so it was causing pain so um you know, he, you know, they check underneath your tongue, you know, saliva glands and all that stuff connected. Make sure there are no stones underneath the tongue and all that. There's no, there are no stones in here. Um, it's really soft and it's just, um, submandibular glands drop the older you get. But if you have rapid weight loss, then they drop, um, a little bit more drastically or faster. So that's what happened to me. And he joked around. He's funny to me. He's like, I don't think anybody's going to notice that. I don't think anyone's going to see sit there and look at you and say oh those <laughs> those submandibular glands are pretty obvious you know <laughs> now you guys are going to be noticing it because it's on video but had I not said anything you would notice it but because it's I notice it because I know what I look like you know I had to get checked out because I'm like something's going on here you know so I was like it's not swollen it's not going to continue to grow down into my throat and choke me or something because sometimes it feels like that and he said no there is not a tumor there are no cysts or nothing like that it's just your submandibular gland just dropped so if you have that issue get it checked out but just be sure you know I went to ear nose and throat doctor just to be, be, be on the safe side because you never know what it could be but that could be if you have anything that's swollen like here 
I don't even know if you could tell, but um, the right side is more prominent than my left. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it in some of my other videos. That's what it is. So, yeah. So, good to know that. Talk to y'all later. At the car wash. Oh, 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 oh. I felt it was only appropriate that I come to the car wash and rock my fro. <laughs> Car wash it. Hey, come on, y'all, and sing it with me. Car wash. Ooh, whoa. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Mm, da -da, da -da. Talking about the car wash. That scout massager from the Dollar Tree. Um, <laughs> Chris tried on you again. I wish I would have got his first reaction. Toes were curling up. Something so simple. That tickles. <laughs> yeah. It does. Dollar Tree. Mm. But it tickles a lot. It's a massager. <laughs> I just happened to see it and I'm like, what is this? Oh my god, it's a scalp massager. So. If you were doing this, I'd go to sleep. Oh my goodness. That Ooh. is so funny. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> oh it's shaking, it's shaking. I'm gonna go a little fast, maybe to stop tickling, okay? How they feel? That thing is wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. It's Man, tickling the bad so yeah. bad. <sighs> Get That's that. crazy. Yeah, that feels good. Oh Baby doesn't gosh. tickle to her because it feels so. Oh my lord, have mercy. It could not tickle it to her because so she got Africa. Good. It's going through your hair. So yeah, it goes through your hair. Mommy, do it, it to feels me. So good. Mommy, I can do that. Go put that up. What you got in your head? Y'all go to the Dollar Tree and get it because it is worth oh it. My oh my God. gosh. Mommy. <laughs> All right. It kind of will scratch you, scratch for you, but it's so gentle. If you want a really good scratch, you want to get in there and scratch yourself. Mommy, it kind of teases, can I do but it it's myself? very relaxing. I'm sure it stimulates your follicles, the blood flow. Yeah, that's very cozy. So I'm about to. Break this stuff up after I trim my ends and then um, buy a wig. I'm probably gonna buy a wig tomorrow, babe. Okay, get me a human hair wig, huh? Yeah, this was my last hurrah. My mom was like, You probably gonna get um, two uh, afro puffs next, huh? And I was like, mm, Maybe I'll wear two afro puffs tomorrow when I go pick out my wig. That'd be my last. Everybody, look. Hairstyle. Yeah, see you. Oh, okay. yeah. It needs to be washed and moisturized. I need a deep conditioner. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I will be out at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it tickles! <laughs> okay, we you guys, it actually tickles. Okay, it's time for you to go to bed. I forgot to go. do my dance. No, that's okay, we'll do it tomorrow. You been, you know the go dance already. Team. Yeah, take the earrings off. You already know your dance. She has her last performance this Saturday at the um, Indianapolis Cult. What do you want to be Junior Cheer Squad has a recital at the Muse Children's Arts Museum Mommy, that ate this dinner Saturday. Feel like I did it. Cause all I ate. You're hungry like... again. Yep. All right. So anyway, so she has one last dance I'm so happy. of the season. Cause I just went to the kids' museum on uh, Wednesday. We went to the Children's Art Museum for Martin Luther King Day. Yeah, that was Monday. My hands are slippery. I can't. Yeah, that was really nice. They have a lot of nice new things there. So, and my camera died, so I couldn't get the um. Mommy, you can't do it. I couldn't get the display of Ruby Bridges. As soon as she saw Ruby Bridges, she's like. Bridges and they had a cute classroom set up for and I was like Lexi you know why they have a classroom set up for Ruby Bridges Martin Luther King's you know stuff I didn't get any of that stuff we that was like the last um, section that we had gone to and my phone had died probably like midway through it so I was upset that I didn't get that my camera my blocking camera um, I just bought a new memory card for it today so I didn't have it with me 
So I'm sad I didn't get that cool, stuff. Cool. But it was really nice. So um 